combination of cells. More than one cell can be connected in a circuit for different practical purposes. The group of cells connected together is known as battery. There are mainly two types of combination. Number one, series combination. Number two, parallel combination. First, let us learn about series combination. If the negative end of the first cell is connected to the positive terminal of second cell, negative end of the second cell to the positive end of third cell and so on. Such combination of cells is called series combination. The external resistance is then connected between the positive end of the first cell and the negative end of the last cell. Students, let the number of cells in series equals N. The EMF of each cell or the electromotive force of each cell equals E. Then the total electromotive force of such combination is equal to NE. Hence in series combination the electromotive force of the circuit increases. Also if the internal resistance of each cell is R the total resistance of cell is equal to NR. If an external resistance R is connected in series as in the figure, then the total resistance of the circuit is equal to NR plus R. Now using Ohm's law, the current passing in the circuit is I is equal to total electromotive force divided by total resistance which is written as I equals NE divided by NR plus R. Case 1. Students, if external resistance R is small enough compared to the total internal resistance, then I is equal to NE divided by NR which is equal to E by R. This current will be the same as that given by a single cell case. In case 2, if the external resistance R is large enough compared to the total internal resistance of cell, then I is equal to NE by R. This gives nearly N times the current flow than that given by a single cell. If we want high voltage and low current, as for torchlight, radios, etc., this combination or low external resistance is useful. Now, number two, parallel combination. If all the positive ends of cells are connected to one point, say A, and all the negative ends to the other point, say B, such a combination is called parallel combination. The external resistance is connected between the points A and B, as shown in figure. 6.5. Now, let electromotive force of each cell equals E, the number of cells in parallel equals M, then the total electromotive force of such circuit is equal to E. This is because the current given by each cell flows through the same resistance R. If the current due to each cell is equal to I, if R is the internal resistance of cell, the total resistance R dash of cell used is given by 1 by R dash equals 1 by R plus 1 by R plus 1 by R plus so on to the M cell, which is equal to M by R. So, the effective resistance of circuit is equal to R plus R by M, which can be written as MR plus R divided by M. Now, current is equal to total electromotive force by total resistance. That is E by MR plus R by M, which is equal to ME divided by MR plus R. Now, in case 1, if the internal resistance of cell is high, I is equal to Me by R, that is equal to M times the current due to a single cell. In case 2, 
if the internal resistance of a cell is very low, I is equal to Me by Mr equals E by R. Students, if the current due to each cell is equal to I, the current due to N cell is equal to Ni in the case of high internal resistance of a cell. If we want low voltage and high current, this combination high internal resistance is useful.